This is activity two, a continuation of the conversation on expected value. In the previous page, question three, we talked about the chance of winning $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, and what probability it was that that was actually going to show up from spinning the wheel. So we have those fractions. Expected value requires us to multiply our winnings times the probability of winning. Losing is a later conversation, but that would also be taken into consideration. You just use a minus. So I'm going to get a 100 off of the wheel one-eighth of the time, three-eighths of the time, then I'm multiplying the $100 in winnings times the probability of winning that $100, three out of eight. Same thing for 200. 200 was one, two out of eight times. 300 was one, one out of three times. Eight, I mean one out of eight. 400 was one, one out of eight times, and 500 was one, one out of eight times. So let's multiply all of these up. And that's what my calculator is for on the, on the side of the screen. So 100 times 3 eighths. And then I'm going to use uh, 3 eighths is 3 divided by 8. And I'm going to put a period or a decimal point at the end of the 8. That way I get a decimal answer. 37.5. On its own, that means nothing. Collectively, with all of the outcomes, with all of their individual probabilities multiplied by them, when we add up these numbers, we're going to get the average, like the expected amount of money everyone over time is going to have the chance to earn. 200 times 2 divided by 8, period. 50 bucks. Well. 50 bucks, however, not the 50 that's going to happen. It's just the probability of winning times the amount of money that was on, up for grabs. 300 times 1 divided by 8, period. 37.5. 400 divided by 8, period. 50 bucks. And now 500 divided by 8, period. By the time divided by 8, 500 times 1 is 500. Then you're dividing by 8. So that's what I have in the calculation over there. 500 divided by 8, period. 62.50. So I'm going to add up all of those amounts. I'm going to add up 37.5 plus 50 plus 37.5 plus 50 plus 62.5. If this number is bigger than 200, spin every single time. It is. More than likely, the contestants are going to, on average, expect to see greater than $200, or $200 and more, because on average, Everyone who's participated and is contributing to the average have created an average of $237.5. The sum in question four is the expected value. The expected value is the average value when the number of trials is large. That's what I mean. You will not make the $37.50 because that's not an option for you when you play this game and spin the wheel. You're either going to win 100 or 200 or 300 or 400 or 500. The 37.5 is not an option for you. But when all of us play this spin the wheel game, get 200 or more, on average, all of our amounts add up and we divide by the total, and this is what we get for an expected value. On average, the collection of all of us, a large number of us, will on average make $237.5 per person, per throw, per spin of the wheel. But it's an average, and because it's an average, we need to keep that in mind when we talk about expected value and how it relates directly to just you. Should you keep the $200 or spend the wheel. And I say this, my line of thinking, if I can spend the wheel for a large number of times, like if I'm that contestant spinning and spinning and spinning, or if I'm just looking at the collected average of everyone that's, that's participated, that 
Expected value is bigger than 200. I should spin. I stand a better chance to win 200 or more. Specifically, $237.5 on average per spend. However, on a single spin, just one, should I spin it? Well, yeah, I should still spin because I only win less than $200 three-eighths of the time. That's less than half. So if I'm winning less money than what I started with, less than half of the times I play it, absolutely. My chances of getting a good score this one time and winning 200 or more is much better. I stand to win 200 to 500 at least five out of eight times. Okay. So expected value is the likelihood of an event occurring multiplied by the probability, no, the uh, actual amount, like money, that that outcome is promised. It gets weird when you start talking about losing money. Like if I had said uh, in, the, in the situation, the host wants me to give back my $200 and then pay him $100 to spin the wheel. Now I'm out $100. And that's going to change all of my expected values by that giving back $100 and then it's not worth it anymore. I mean, I could still win $500 make back my 100, have a $400 net positive, but I have to give up. And the part that I have to give up is going to change the expected value. So we gotta pay attention to that part. Even though the probabilities are the same, expected value is gonna dictate that. So this has been page 899. We're gonna see a sneak peek at activity three, calculating expected values in different scenarios. So thank you so much for watching and for liking and commenting and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.